Next step to grooming is your curry comb. Curry combs can look different. Um, they're usually a hard rubber plastic material. They're going to have um, kind of a rigid tooth pattern. Um, sometimes they kind of protrude up like a porcupine. Sometimes they're a little bit softer rubber. Um, this one is for a child's hand, but it'll work for beauty. Whenever we're grooming a horse, we work from the head towards the tail, down and back. You wouldn't ever want to start grooming per se in the middle of your horse, especially when it comes to brushing, because if I brush this area and come this way and sweep back, I've just dirtied up the area I cleaned. So the curry comb, comb is used um, for the more muscular parts of the body. I think a part that uh, does get forgotten about often are the legs which are bonier and a little more sensitive, but it's still important to use the curry in some of these areas because the legs, especially the back legs here, are the most prone to um, fungus growth um, and proliferation. So we really want to make sure that the curry's purpose, which is to bring all of the dirt and debris that's built up on the skin to the surface. And we do that by using it in a circular fashion on the body of the horse. So we go circle, 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 all the way around. You can see the dirt comes up and often, with beauty here, he's shedding, so it'll bring out a lot of hair. And again, working your way down, he's been out in the paddock, so you can see a lot of this dirt and getting the caked on dirt off will be helpful for brushing. And again, relieves the horse from any skin irritation from the caked on mud. So you work your way all the way down and back, down and back, all the way around, down on the legs. The underside of the horse is also a very important part to get. I can use my other hand to feel if I have missed any spots, I can feel some caked on dirt underneath. And so I work my way all the way around Again, all the way down. So you don't want to miss any spots. Again, this is here, a space where fungus often breeds. This is um, where they go to the bathroom. There's often splatter. And again, their legs are the um, parts of their body that are getting wet out in the paddocks as well. So doing this on both sides of the horse and then moving to our next tool.